Living in the world and reading about the world might seem boring and exhausting to some, but if you ask people who read Dystopia, the answer will be completely different. Here the question is that why do we find dystopian fiction so convincing? Let me tell you this in detail, all because it often mimics our own reality in fascinating ways. The best dystopian literature presents a hauntingly similar world, yet much scarier than our own, using mirroring sections of life the surroundings, religious practice, current events, or innovation. The best dystopian books don't take you to another planet. Instead, they serve as mirrors of both our reality and what might occur in the future. These stories are frequently used as cautionary tales about what might happen if our darkest impulses are not voted back in. They are also loaded with social criticism and are utterly hilarious. Fiction that depicts dystopian futures can shed light on the circumstances under which our fears are justified. In many works of dystopian fiction, societies are depicted as deeply involved in unending conflicts and marked by dramatic inequalities of both social and economic class. Our selection of the top dystopian books gives some escape, but just as importantly, a strategy for fighting in case things go wrong. When your thoughts start to go into some scary zone, start with one of these 10 books. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and share. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Links to the books are given in the description below. Number 10. The Women Could Fly by Megan Gidding As a way to find escape and do it fun, the writing world opens up for Megan. She reveals a searing dystopian tale about the unshakable link between a young woman and her enigmatic mother. This is the story of Josephine Thomas, who recounts how she has listened to every potential explanation regarding the loss of her mother. However, the fact that she is a witch is by far the most concerning aspect of this situation. But it has been 14 years since her mother was last seen, and now Josephine is prepared to eventually let go of her obsession with finding her. Despite this, her future is uncertain. In its most basic form, The Women Could Fly is a feminist work of science fiction and fantasy that reflects the current climate. A tragic tale set in a dystopian future about the unshakable link between a young woman and her mother, who does not live with them. This is a story that I truly enjoyed reading, and I am 110% confident that you will enjoy it as well, particularly if you are a girl. Number 9. To Paradise by Hania Yanagihara As a design stylist, Hania values unique types of beauty. As a writer, she delves into dark subjects such as violence and dishonor. In all circumstances, she is simply concerned with pleasing herself. Hania Yanagihara discusses her novel's subjects and her journey to becoming a writer. In the novel To Paradise, the main character, a daughter of a prominent scientist, struggles to find a way to move on with her life after her father's death. While this was going on, she was also attempting to unravel the mystery surrounding her husband's tendency to disappear. It's divided into three acts, each of which is fascinating in its own right, a look at the rich and poor coexisting in two very different kinds of America. One thing that binds those who are strong and those who are weak, as well as those who are healthy and those sick but only want to save the people they love. This exceptional book packs a powerful punch thanks to Diana Giora's keen awareness of the driving need we all have to shelter the people we care about from harm. Whether it be a spouse or a lover, kids, companions, family members, or even our fellow countrymen, in the meantime, it also discusses the agony that results whenever we cannot. Number 8. Round Girl in the Ring by Nello Hopkinson Being raised in a family of writers when Nello was born in Kingston, Jamaica, her father was an actor, poet, dramatist, and professor of English and Latin, while her mother was a librarian worker. Post-colonialism and counter-stories have been central to Nello's work in recent years. Talking about the story, since a woman has nowhere else to turn, a young woman is forced to expose herself to long-forgotten secrets, timeless capabilities, and the devastating mystery that surrounds her mother and grandmother. Hopkinson's writing is polished and confident, and her characters are vibrant and true to life. She has crafted a hauntingly beautiful world full of urban decay and shocking, difficult and dangerous magic, in which the human heart is both a literal and figurative key. The writer has a great story sense and a great ear for dialogue, and he manages to strike a nice balance between sharp social criticism and a strong sense of setting. Number 7. Brave New World by Aldous Huxley His family was well known for expecting nothing less than academic and professional brilliance from their children, and so did Huxley. Huxley's writings are on point without any fluff and have the right touch of a dystopian world. 
something new in the world of dystopian. He in this well-known dystopian novel depicts a future in which the world controllers have established a utopian society. The novel Brave New World indicates a significant danger is associated with handing the government authority over cutting-edge advancements. Readers are thereafter introduced to a supposedly ideal society with genetically modified, cheerful, and well-fed inhabitants in Brave New World. Number 6. The Last One by Alexander Olive Talking about dystopian stories, Alexander Olive doesn't stay back in any place. Compared to other dystopian storylines, this idea stands out as truly original. The story starts off with a reality television show. In it, there are 12 competitors, and they are left in the forest to compete in a series of trials that will push them to their physical and mental limitations. Primarily in the group, the girl is unaware of the devastation occurring around her, because she is preoccupied with what she thinks is a TID game show. The writer has done a great job of immersing you in the story and forcing you to consider how you would react in that bizarre circumstance. I was captivated from the very first page, and even over a year after finishing the book, I often reflect on the events that become obvious. Number 5. The Silence by Don DeLillo Building up interest in writing wasn't a thing for Don DeLillo. It all started eventually. Commercially and critically, The Silence was a game-changer for DeLillo, garnering him the National Book Award for Fiction and cementing his status as one of the preeminent postmodern novels of our time. This brilliantly written short fiction explores what it means to be human during difficult times. A man and a woman are the first characters that the silence introduces to the audience. They are on a trip from Paris to Newark. There is no one else in the world who sounds the manner the characters in this book do, and we are not missled into thinking that they would. Talking about that, I must add that DeLillo is such a skilled writer, not a single word in any of his works is wasted. Number 4. The Man in the High Castle by Philip K. Dick Known as the writer who has witnessed the future, Philip K. Dick is known purely for his fine work. Famous American author of fiction and essays, Philip authoritarian governments, changed states, and monopolistic businesses were frequent topics in his writings. The Man in the High Castle, written in 1962, is an example of a historical fiction novel in which the Axis powers can win World War II. The story's events occur in 1962, 15 years after the war was declared in 1947. The plot revolves around the political shenanigans of the time. The serious novel of concepts and the unconventional background of the American Civil War are two of Dick's primary sources of conceptual insight. Within its pages, Dick offers a chilling perspective of the historical past as a nightmare. Dick stated in an interview that he got the inspiration for The Man in the High Castle from reading the novel Bring the Jubilee by Ward Moore. Both are good to read and remember to tell. <laughs> Number 3. Fahrenheit 45 by Ray Bradbury the works of American fantasy and horror writer Ray Bradbury are widely regarded as classics. His most famous work, Fahrenheit 451, is a dystopian examination of a near-future American society in which opposing views are effectively banned. In Fahrenheit 451, Guy Montag's journey from being a fireman who burned books to a rebel who reads them is documented. Montag lives in a repressive society that strives to make all its people happy without complications by eradicating all causes of complexity, controversy, and complication. Fahrenheit 451's main theme examines the conflict between a society that emphasizes illiteracy and compliance and a person's desire for understanding and independence. I narrate the novel as a complete package that makes you learn a lot and somehow helps you see things in yourself too. To add more, Montag learns throughout the book that his fellow residents are not merely content, but spiritually empty. Individuals worldwide have no time to reflect on themselves instead of evaluating their mental states since they are continuously exposed to commercials and superficial media. Number 2. The Hunger Games by Susan Collins When she was a young child, Susan showed an interest in writing from an early age. Following her passions and interests, she has done many books. Susan Collins, a writer from the United States, published her dystopian novel, The Hunger Games, in 2008. It is told from the point of view of Katniss Everdeen, who is 16 years old and lives in a post-apocalyptic nation in the future of North America. The story is more about the mother and her younger sister, Prim. Going into more depth years ago, her father was killed in an explosion at the mine where he worked. She likes to go hunting in the woods that are outside of her neighborhood. There have been 26 translations of The Hunger Games, and the copyright has been licensed in 38 countries. Number 1. 
to power by Naomi Alderman. Not only a dystopian writer, but a game writer too. Naomi has its own style of writing. The Power is a book that is contained within another book. Initially published in 2016, The Power is a work of science fiction written by the British author Naomi Alderman. The Bailey's Women's Prize for Fiction was awarded the novel The Power in June of 2017. In Power, women can discharge electromagnetic pulses from their hands, making them physically dominant over men. The Power has a wide-ranging and global focus and it uses its premise to call attention to regions where women have been subjected to oppression. In addition to this, it focuses on power dynamics overall. Dystopian books have always been close to my heart, and I have always enjoyed reading them. This is how and why I came up with these 10 best books for you. If you haven't read any dystopian books, with that, I hope you had a good time and thanks for remembering me. If this video helps you find the next book you are going to read, then like and share this video. Let me know in comment section on what type of books I should cover in my next video. Also, if you read one of the book mentioned in this video, share your review or thoughts with us. Subscribe this channel for more such awesome videos. Thanks for watching.